Welcome to the channel Codes Up. In this video, we are going to see how to create a Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. So if you are a beginner to IntelliJ IDEA, then this tutorial will help you to get started with the Spring Boot and IntelliJ IDEA. So for creating a Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA, so go to your IntelliJ IDEA. We have already opened it here. So after going uh, to the IntelliJ IDEA, click on new project and after clicking on new project there is a option of spring initializer in the left side menu so click on that and after that entering some name here so here we are entering spring boot spring boot demo with IntelliJ idea so this is the name of the project now next is the giving the so next is the language so here we are going to create it in java language so we selected java here so also we are using maven here so if you want to build it in gradle then you can choose gradle from the type so now in group uh, we we give, uh, we will give the name uh, we give the name as com dot spring boot dot demo spring boot dot spring boot dot dot demo so in the artifact so make sure there is no space between the name so here we will enter the name as spring boot demo intelligy idea okay so here name is so long so we will remove it and we will give the package name as com dot dot example and here uh, we have a uh, we have jdk 11 installed on our system so we are choosing jdk 11 here but if you have a, another java version under jdk installed then you can choose that so since we have a java 11 installed on our system so from uh, java we select the 11 as from uh, 11 from the options but you can choose 17 or others version uh, as per your uh, java version that you have installed on your system so from packages we uh, keep it as default so click on next so after clicking on next there is a option of choosing the dependencies so from the dependencies first dependency that we are choosing in spring boot dev tool and then spring web then spring web so click on spring web and then click on create so after clicking on the create it will take some time because it will download all the dependencies and sub dependencies for your project so wait for the some time while it download all the dependencies for your project so meanwhile uh, it is installing all the dependencies let's understand the project structure so in project structure uh, here we have a source main java and inside uh, this folder structure that is source main java we have a our main class that is spring boot demo with intellij idea application so this is the our main class and this is the main method so as we know the main method where the uh, execution of the code comes at first so next is the uh, resources so inside resources we have a static template and application dot properties so if you have a specific properties according uh, to your project then you can mention that in application dot projected suppose we want to uh, change the server port we know that default port is 8080 but if we want to change that then we can simply add here server dot port and we can mention our custom port here but uh, for now we are going with the default port so inside static 
we can simply uh, mention uh, the our uh, we can simply add our ui files so that will be uh, read from here and inside test if you want uh, if you want to test if you want to write the test cases for our project then that goes under the test folder so in the inside that we have a uh, test class spring boot demo with intellij id application tests and so this is the mainly uh, used for the structure and let's go to go to the pom.xml and understand our dependencies so first dependencies that we add is the spring boot starter web that we chose while creating the project and dev tool also we chose it for while we are creating the project and then other dependencies are there and the spring boot version uh, that we are using for creating this project is the 2.7.3 so and java version is 11 so all the dependencies and sub dependencies are successfully got installed so let's add one controller and test our project then so first we will create a new package uh, inside existing folder structure and in controller we will simply add the controller that is hello world controller so inside hello world controller we simply add one method and inside that method we will test our uh, code so that is we mark it controller as at the rate rest with with the annotation at the rate rest controller and simply we will add one method that is public get message get welcome get welcome message so inside that we simply return we simply return welcome to IntelliJ idea and spring boot and we simply forget to add the return type for this method so we will add it and we will mark this method with get mapping and inside mapping we simply add the message and inside it we mark the controller with the general uh, request mapping that is hello so with the hello so we save it and now time to test our code so let's test our code and run this code so our project got run successfully and tomcat started on port 8080 so as we know that in spring boot uh, we have an embedded tomcat for the uh, spring boot project by default so port uh, tomcat started on port 8080 and no active profile as well our pro uh, project uh, we not configured any uh, profile so fall back back to one default profile that is default so let's test it by going to the browser and hitting the request mapping that we have created in our project that is hello and then message so after hitting the request mapping that we have created in our project we successfully get the message that is welcome to intellij idea and spring boot so it means our project uh, successful got successfully created and also it work uh, it's working fine so yeah that's all for this tutorial hope you guys uh, are like the tutorial and uh, hope you guys like the tutorial and able to understand this basic concept and also able to learn how to create a sample spring boot project with intellij idea also if you have a actuator configured then you can see all the beans that you have created in our application what all request mapping are you have created and then health of, of your applications so yeah that's all 
please do subscribe our channel so that you cannot miss any further updates from our side yeah thanks for watching guys